So today I'm sitting in my freezing cold, broke down van, right next door to my other freezing cold, broke down van. And to be quite honest, I'm feeling a lot like these vans today. But that's part of the reason why I wanted to shoot this video because I really think that you probably know, like I know, what it feels like to be kind of cold and broke down. So people say that the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. And I've come to the realization for about the past two or three years, I've been doing just that. Well, kind of. See, the past two or three years, I really kind of felt like, or I've convinced myself that I wasn't really doing the same thing over and over again. I was more so just planning and preparing myself for what's to come and really trying to perfect all these different ideas that were in my head. And as I realized a couple years later, all this thought that has been going into all these ideas and, and dreams and goals that I've had have really just left me in the same spot that I've been in for these past couple of years. Now, don't get me wrong. I've had some really amazing experiences. In fact, since my last album, I've gotten married, I had a new baby. And in the process of being a husband and a father, we kind of became a little bit famous when I posted that picture of me cleaning my wife's breast pump a few years ago, which was really awkward, weird, not expected, but it happened. I launched Oxen Apparel, which was a dream of mine for, for a while, and it actually came to fruition. I've also still gotten to tour and play concerts at churches and festivals and colleges and all sorts of high schools and junior high schools all over this country. And so it really has been an amazing past four years, but I think the, the biggest thing in my life has been my growth in my faith. I've grown a ton as a man, just as a father, as a husband. I've grown a little bit too much around the midsection, which I need to work on that too. But also I've grown so much in my faith and that has been the most revolutionary thing in my entire life. But even looking at all the accomplishments that I've been able to have, I've also looked back at all the things that I was just about to do, but never did. I mean, I've always been about to record a brand new album and get back in the studio and start recording some new music. I even bought a brand new microphone and I paid producers for beats and, you know, I just haven't actually gotten to the studio to record new music. And even through all this stuff, I'm like, man, this would be really cool to vlog on YouTube and doc document all this stuff and really step my Instagram game up. So I also bought a brand new camera. I bought lighting. I even redid an entire uh, office studio room to make sure I was able to shoot these videos. One thing that has been cool is this year, I wanted to take Oxen Apparel to the next level. So we actually bought all of our brand new screen printing equipment. We sponsored a, the stage at Unity Music Festival this year, and we did all sorts of marketing. And I spent quite a bit of money on doing some of that type of stuff. And it has made a lot of great progress, but at the same time, looking back on it, I really could be a lot further than I am right now had I actually did all the things that I had in my head. And I'm really sitting here thinking about it this morning because of all the things that I did get a chance to accomplish, I think the biggest thing that has been on my heart to launch and to do, I haven't actually been able to do. So for the past four years, I've been working on this online discipleship training course. I've written it and rewritten it and tested it out and retested it out and went back over and mulled it over my head over and over and over again yet i still never did it see this training course is not just another project i want to put out this is something that has been on my heart for a very long time and i feel like this is the purpose of what i do of everything else that i do like there's no point in making new music or putting out new clothing or uh, doing vlogs or doing a, a podcast or acting or radio or any of the other things that I've been able to do over these past couple of years. The reason why I do all of that stuff is just to point people back into discipleship. Because one thing that I've realized as I've been able to do music full time and I've been able to sort of build a bit of a platform is that I'm not really interested in making any more fans. My calling was never to make fans or to make a career or to make money. We were always called to make disciples. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm not fulfilling the purpose that I'm called to do. 
And truth is, I've been making a ton of excuses as to why I'm just not ready. Like, I'm not ready to do this. I'm not prepared to do this. I don't have enough money. But to be quite honest, I can't blame it on money because I've been able to buy all the equipment that I've needed to buy. I can't blame it on not having enough time because my wife and my family are always super supportive. If I ever need to just go away and work on something or travel, it's never, ever been a problem. I can't even blame it on not having support from friends and fans alike. I mean, there's thousands of people on my Facebook page and Instagram and even a couple thousand people on this YouTube channel, which I've barely even uploaded anything to. So there really is no good reason as to why I'm not doing what I'm really called to do to the capacity. I'm really called to do it, except for a bunch of lame excuses. Because see, the thing about me is when I start to do something, I start to get in my own head and I start to get in my own way. I even decided I wasn't even going to do this video because I didn't have a haircut or, you know, I didn't, I had other stuff to do today. And if I think about it long enough, I can come up with a million different excuses that will get in my own way of doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's the reason why I wanted to do what I'm doing today, because I bet you there's people like me that get in their own way from doing what you're actually called to do. In fact, I know that there's a million other people like me and probably like you that are sitting on dreams and ideas that you have inside of you that you have no excuse for not getting them done. And the only person getting in the way of doing those things is you. So no, I'm not ready to go out and start this YouTube vlog. And no, I don't really know what I'm doing all the way, but I do know that from now on, I'm gonna do something, whether it's perfect or not perfect. I'm just gonna get out there and do it. And if you wanna come along with me for the ride, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because every Tuesday, I'm gonna be uploading YouTube videos to document this whole process along the way. So for right now, the first thing I need to do today is to get at least one of these vans up and running, because we got a lot of stuff to get done this week. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that I need to do is get the tires changed from this van over to this van because I've been trying to get this van fixed over and over again all summer long in fact I fixed it several times and what's really irritating is like just like a month ago I put in new brakes and new rotors on this van and now it's just completely dead it doesn't even turn on and I'm not even sure if it's even worth trying to get it fixed again it might just be a starter it might be a quick easy fix so I'm still try that later on with a friend of mine see if they can help me fix it out but for right now the only one that we have a hope of getting running is my wife's van here but the problem is like the tires both of these two tires need to be replaced on this side and I need to take some tires from this van and just put them on this van but the car jack doesn't work in the van that I have here so I wouldn't got a, a car jack from a friend of mine and uh, but I left it in my mom's car that she let me borrow two days ago so I got to call my mom see if she can bring the jack over to me so I can jack this car up take the car take the tires off one van put them on the other van then take those two tires and maybe go get new tires at a shop so I call my mom so I know some of you might be asking like why don't you just go out and get another car why don't you just go and finance a new car and here's the thing is something like a, a car costs money every month whether that's gas, insurance, and things like that. It's not that I don't believe in debt at all whatsoever. When, when it comes to things like cars that cost me money each month, I don't feel like it's a good thing for me to do in my situation to go out and just buy another car or finance another car. So when I buy cars, I buy them cash. And right now, I don't got the cash to buy a really nice, reliable car. So I'm gonna make do with what we got right here. We are literally riding these vans until the wheels fall off, cause that's just what we do. All right, so as much as I hate to always call to depend on somebody, you gotta love your moms cause she always comes through in a pinch. So now I'm here at the auto store to try to go and buy the socket wrench that I need to get the tire off. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna replace the tire with the donut and then go get the tire fixed tomorrow because it's cold outside. And I think that might be a better solution. All right, so 27 bucks later, hopefully this is the right size of socket and I can get these tires off 
of the van and get that spare tire on there because um, it needs to be up and running by today. We got a lot of stuff to do this week. All right, so here's a bit of fun facts for the whole family: is I got the wrench from the from the Advanced Auto Parts. I got the 18 uh, centimeter or CRMO, whatever this is. The 18 is what I was supposed to get. Now go to actually. doesn't fit I got the wrong size got to go all the way back to the store to get a bigger socket it's gonna be fun well let's go So I'm leaving Advanced Auto Parts for literally the 50th time this like in the past few months. Like no exaggeration. That guy in there thinks I'm an idiot. Like, how often are you gonna come in here and buy extra parts and do a, like listen man, I don't need the judgment. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm trying to fix a car and get stuff on the road. But I didn't say that. I was just like, hey, you know what? Bring me up. the two sockets right here I'm just gonna test them and see if they fit on here cuz uh, if they don't I'll be very upset first try 19 19 is what I needed not 18 19 all right let's get to work three things that a grown man should always have in his house. Roll of duct tape, a good set of tools, and some WD-40. I got the duct tape on deck. Tools, I was missing. And I had a can of WD-40. Don't know what happened to it. See it all the time when I don't need it. Now that I need it, can't find it. It's back to the store. All right, I'm back from the store again. Got my can of WD-40. Now it's time to get these bolts loose. Hopefully this works. I'm getting tired, but I'm not gonna give up. So I tried as much stuff as I can think of right now. I tried the WD-40. I got the right bolts to fit or the right socket to fit on there. Went back in store to the, for the store. Not a mechanic, but I mean changing a tire should be very simple. I got the right socket after twice back to the store. Got some WD-40. I got it lifted up just a little bit so I could 
not have it smashed on the ground. I mean, I tried everything that I can know of, that I can think of. Spent time and money on things that uh, it just don't seem to be working out. This just seems to be the story of my life right now, wrapped up in these broke down vans. But I'm gonna do something, take a little risk that maybe I shouldn't do, but I'm gonna drive this two blocks up the road to a tire repair center and uh, hopefully they can figure this out. I'm not sure if I should be driving on a flat tire like this, but I ain't paying for a tow truck to take me two blocks down the road, which is another mistake I can see that I'm probably making. But hey, at least you're here to see it. Yep, I'm an idiot. Didn't even make it down the block. Like I, like my house is right there. And uh, this is what happened to the tire. And not only that, my phone is dead. So I can't even call a tow truck. I called one tow truck, I left a message. And uh, then I tried to call another tow truck and my phone died. Good thing about this is it's a beautiful day. It ain't snowing. And I'm a quick walk back to my house to charge my phone to call a tow truck after all day working on trying to get the tires fixed on this car. <sighs> this is not how I thought this out in my head. If you turn right, if you turn right, right down there, I'm sitting on the side of the road. Okay, I'm on my way. It'll probably be about 15 minutes before I can get to you. All right, no problem. Okay, I'm on my way. All right, thanks, man. Yep, no problem. Fifty bucks. Should just pay the fifty bucks in the first place. Instead of doing all this craziness. 50 bucks. Plus another. 50 bucks for the stuff I got. Probably plus another. 200 bucks for some new tires. Oh boy. Well, looks like I'm ending today's video back where I started in my first still broke down van. In other great news, I also broke my tripod on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see it, you probably can't, but yeah. People say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, yet expecting a different result. But I also know that in order to be successful at anything, it takes consistency over an extended period of time. Sometimes it doesn't feel like you're making any progress. It feels like you're doing the same thing over and over again. And you're just hitting your head against the wall. But sometimes it's just a matter of chipping away at things. I'm reminded of that picture, that little meme that we see, that people see online and people post online of the guy that's like digging away um, at his goal of trying to get these diamonds and eventually he just hangs his pickaxe up and walks away looking defeated while this other younger guy is chipping away at the same thing vigorously you know that he's not going to give up and he's going to reach what that other guy didn't reach because he gave up a little bit too early and uh 
sometimes it feels like you're not making any progress because you can't see the final result. But maybe it is doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's insanity. But what it takes to really get to where you want to be, where I want to be, to be successful at anything may look insane to a lot of people. So I guess that means I'm going insane. Literally. See you next Tuesday.